dent resistant and scratch resistant. So go ahead and punch it, hit it with your fist. Oh, I mean, you know, down like this on over here. Hi, I'm here with Tim Cunningham, Western Regional Sales Man Manager for Think. How are you? Good afternoon. Good. Tell me about the Think City. Well, right now we are ramping up for 500 cars to come over during the fourth quarter of this year from Finland. And the goal is to have those vehicles placed with fleets. So when, as a consumer, can I buy it? We're looking at uh, 2011 timeframe, probably mid to end of 2011 for us to uh, market and sell the cars to consumers. Okay. It's kind and of a different process. And this is all electric? All electric. We call battery electric vehicle or BEV. Uh, the battery, this car actually contains what they call a lithium ion battery. That's the chemistry of the battery. Uh, the battery holds what they call 22 kilowatt hours of electricity or power. Uh, the battery comes from a company in Indiana called Enerdel and the battery can take the car approximately very close to 100 miles. We have like about a 101 mile range, so we just say 100 miles per charge. So you're telling me this car is made of plastic mostly, right? Yes, yes, yes. So why is that? Why is that? Oh, for a number of reasons. Uh, durability, strength, uh, weight issues as well, production costs, uh, recyclability. The car is 95% recyclable. Um, you don't have to worry about polishing the car. This is ABS molded plastic. Uh, it, the color is injected directly into the plastic. Uh, you can go ahead and pound your fist on it. It's dent resistant, scratch resistant. You don't have to worry about banging carts into it or somebody going crazy with their key or accidentally The days of it. keying cars is over. We hope so. <laughs> and how long does it take to charge up the battery? Well, obviously it depends from you know, what the state of charge is. We're saying six to eight hours. Okay. And that's it, uh, using what they call 240 volt charging, which uh, people also refer to as what they call level two charging. Uh, level one charging is at 120 volts, which is your standard plug in the wall. And that could take uh, considerably longer. And okay. that's based on what your state of charge is, that could take a day. So where are the batteries? Uh, actually, the lithium ion battery, the one we discussed earlier, the Enerdel, uh, is underneath the seats. So you can't see it directly, but you can actually see where the floor comes up underneath the seats. You on can both actually, sides? On both sides. It's the width of the car and just underneath where the seats are. It actually seems pretty roomy for such a small car. It has 29 cubic feet of cargo space behind the front seats. So surprisingly, you can fit quite a bit in there. This is like so uh, manual compared to like the Leaf or the Volt. Like those had these like crazy digital screens and they were almost offering them as like one of the value adds of the car, but this is like very standard, like very European, like a Volkswagen. And then you just put this into drive, click it in and you can, this tells you where you're going. Reverse, drive. Uh, neutral drive. Put in drive and then let your foot off the brake. Okay. Put on the accelerator. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go fast. Punch it to the floor. Put it, down. it does have a noise though. It's like, is this the motor? Oh uh, yeah, that's the uh, actual uh, the gear, the gearbox. So we've got standard, and then we have the E. E and E, um, like some other vehicles, kind of governs back the car, so you don't accelerate as quickly. It's also a very good tool for using if you're on wet or icy surfaces. Okay. Because remember, the cars are well proven in very harsh conditions, you know, coming from Norway. Yeah. So the European versions don't have the power steering, but in the U.S. they're going to have it. Most of the world, power steering is an accessory that you pay extra for. So is air conditioning. In the U.S. we're spoiled to have it as a standard equipment. Okay. Yeah, if you go to try and get a car in any other part of the world, it's pretty much a given that you're going to have to pay extra for power assist steering or yeah. just it's just we've been spoiled here. Americans are so spoiled. This is like an everyday car that you drive compared to those ones are like almost like luxury vehicles. That's what it seems like to me. There you Thank go. You, sir. All right, you're welcome.